Hi, welcome to the Louis File. Today, I just want to talk directly to you. I don't have a Bible. I don't have notes. I just want to share something with you that's, that's really on my mind. Uh, I think it's very important. Uh, you know, the Bible talks about strongholds. In the Old Testament, it talks about sins of the fathers being passed down to generations, like uh, under the fourth or fifth generation. And, and a lot of... Uh, things about that that I think I just want to make my point and clarify for some folks. Um, some people come from homes of alcoholics and abuse, uh, uh, mental uh, disturbances, all types of things. There is a disorder for everything under the sun. Um, now, I'm not trying to make light of these troubles. Uh, people that have uh, voices, people that have mood swings, uh, I, I mean, you could name things, bipolar, uh, uh, depression. Now, I am not, I'm, believe me, I'm not making light of any of this. Addictions. Um, I have come from an addictive uh, place in my life before I was born again. I spent 15 years addicted to drugs and alcohol, and it wasn't just a weekend thing. It was a day-in, day-out thing, and it, and it became my life or my death or however you want to view that so it led to depression and dark things it led to divorce it led to uh, friends of mine dying or being killed and I had to bury them and watch them go through some horrendous things and it, it, it's death on a lot of different levels so I, please I'm not making light of whatever your struggle is in this area but I do want to tell you that the Bible offers us hope in Jesus Christ and in Titus, I think it's the small letter of Titus, uh, chapter 3, around verse 5, I think it is, the letter says that we have been regenerated. God's kindness and His love for us, and through His Holy Spirit, He has regenerated us. I love that word. I've just really grown attached to that word. Now, what does regenerated mean? Well, it, it points us to uh, different terms in the Bible, one being born again. Uh, the Bible says in 1 Peter, 2 Peter, one of the two, it says that we are a partaker of God's divine nature. Uh, regenerated. The way I like to define this is it means that we have been re-gened. The very genes, the very nature of our being has been redone. So the sins of the Father, the, the mistreatment or the abandonment or the pain or anguish or whatever it is that you grew up with in your childhood, as real as that is, as painful as it is, as damaging as it is, in Christ you have been given brand new life, brand new genes. You no longer have to trace your heritage back to this abusive cycle. <laughs> that is good news. You know, the Bible tells us that in Christ we're a new creature. It says that the old man was crucified, buried, and raised back with Christ. So the old man is gone. Literally, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, all of that, he is gone. Now, if you were the enemy and you knew this abusive heritage and this distraught environment that, you, that someone was brought up in, but you also knew that they're now born again and they've been regened and they have a new spiritual father that is a heavenly father that's a loving father and a caring father and that you as the enemy have no more hold on this person in their life what would you do well you would do everything in your power to keep them from discovering it wouldn't you <laughs> because now all you have is a bluff now all you have is is loud words or trickery and manipulation and memories and condemnation persecution and oppression. That's what the enemy does to the new believer. It, he no longer has him in his grasp or her. He's no longer able to move in and out of who they really are because they have become a new creature. He that's joined to the Lord is one spirit. We have become a brand new creature in Christ who no longer has to live in what they've always lived in. But what happens is, is the, he gets in our head. See, he keeps reminding us of our past. He keeps telling us we're no good. He keeps abusing us mentally, 
and he, and he crowds our minds with all kinds of thoughts and our, our bodies full of feelings and emotional upheavals. He, he brings in thoughts of depression, he thoughts of suicide. He does all of these things because if he can't really have you anymore because you are now Christ's, then what he's, his next move is to prevent you from being productive on behalf of God's kingdom. So, the remedy is to really and truly receive the fact that in Christ you are a brand new creature. Brand new. Old things have passed away. They're gone. As painful as a past and a childhood might be, we have to let it go. I'm saying this, I, I, believe me, trust me, I am not saying, I'm not trying to diminish what you're going through if you're going through this, but what I'm trying to do is elevate what Jesus went through so that you could come out of it. So I'm not demeaning your, your childhood or your feelings or your emotional state or, or your diagnosis. I'm not demeaning that. Please understand that. But I don't want that to trump or overcome or outshine what Jesus Christ did for you on that cross. He died to set you free from that. He died and he rose again to give you new life in him. The Holy Spirit has now taken up residence within you. If you're a receiver, if you received Christ, the Holy Spirit now dwells in you. You're the temple of God where the Holy Spirit dwells, right inside of you, joined spirit to spirit. Embrace that truth. The Bible tells us, walk after the Spirit, which includes that truth I just shared with you. Walk after the Spirit, and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The enemy jabs us all day, shoots at us, puts these things in our mind, in our, in our emotional, the soulish and body level. He, he harasses us until we forget or neglect who we really are in the Spirit. So I'm here to, to remind you that in Jesus Christ, you are holy and blameless and beyond reproach. Hebrews 10:14 says that he, Jesus, by one offering, his own life, has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. The job is done. Embrace the finished work of Christ and let go of everything that came before it. I hope this helps you today. And I, I am seriously praying for all of you out there that are struggling with these things. I understand. And help is on the way. And his name is Jesus Christ. Just take him and receive him today. Let him be your life. All right. I'll see you later.